Good morning, YouTube. All right, quick video. Um, this is my uh, I can't remember which ones these are now. Um, way too early in the morning. Anyway, that one's got a queen in it. Uh, that's my um tree cutout. That's right. That's my my tree cutout because it's got a queen in it. And uh, I've got a uh, quart feeder on top. These two boxes, the bottom one is the second cutout from the Gill house. There was no queen. Um, they were locked down for five days in my ventilated um, everything BVAC. Um, transfer box so they had plenty of ventilation they built five queen cells the top box is uh, about six weeks old it's from my um, Norman number two hive so those are both number two hives and number two because the two houses both had two hives in them um, it was queenless. Um, I've been feeding them. The brood is all gone. Uh, it's It was down to uh, six frames or so. So I've combined them. Uh, the top is has got six frames in it and a feeder just because I couldn't just I'm gonna keep an eye on it and um, there's some some food in there, honey in there on top. Uh, no excluder or anything in there. Um, but I combined them this morning, uh, talked to uh, Dirt Rooster yesterday, and he said combine them. Since that one's got queen cells, um, before the queens hatch, I checked real quick this morning, no queen hatching. Cells are still closed, so they're combined. It is August 1st. It is amazing the weather we've had this year, lots and lots of rain. Um... I've been really busy. Grass needs to be cut so bad. But uh, this year I've decided to spend more time on my bees and not just bring them home. But there's, see, it's a lot of pollen and um, nectar on those frames on, up top. But no brood up there. Um, there is some brood in the bottom, not a whole lot. So we'll see how it goes. All right, anyway, quick video. Hear the birds this morning. I picked up some baby chicks yesterday. We're gonna start chicks. Uh, add to my five hens that I got in here. Good morning, girls. Good morning, girls. I've gotta get this roof raised. It's one of my winter projects so that it's easier to climb in here. I got some frames sitting in there. I let them clean up and then I just left them in there. Ah. Oh. There's just so much to do. And this is an, an epic fail right here. This was some plywood frames that I built. And they're falling apart. But I got all that cedar this winter. I'll start building some better ones. This was just a matter of I had the material and built them real quick. So, anyway. I've got all this cedar that I'm going to be working on building frames and stuff with. This was one of the frames I just I pulled out to make room for my, my quart feeder. Uh, just old comb that I had put in there just to give them a place to to be and fill up the box and they weren't doing anything with it. So, and I can work my bees without, I have not gotten stung yet this morning. I moved these two, I combined these two boxes without any protection smoker this is my i got two smokers this one broke so this is the smoker i just leave out here until it so i've got it when like yesterday they got a little antsy on me i'd spend a little time with them i got stung once or twice and i was like it's time to smoke them and uh, then they quit quit stinging me so but that was yesterday anyway all right i was only gonna make a two minute video and now it's five minutes y'all have a blessed day Love y'all.
be kind to somebody today, you never know what they're going through. Hippie out.